The Doctor at the Almeida Theatre in London, written and directed by Robert Icke in his final production as Associate Director, and starring Juliet Stevenson. The Doctor is played by Juliet Stevenson. She makes a decision uh, to not allow a dying patient to receive the last rites. And uh, thenceforward, many people try to um, use that decision for their own end. And she tries to defend her rational position, refusing to accept labels and saying she is a doctor. It mounted some very interesting arguments and debates um, about the rational position against mob irrationality. But apart from Juliet Stevenson, who gives a five-star performance, that the other characters are very much ciphers. The whole scenario was very contrived, but nevertheless it kept me interested for the whole evening. So I give the Doctor three stars. Well, that's the one minute review. Keep watching for a longer, uh, more considered look at The Doctor at the Almeida Theatre. Hildegard Bechtler's uh, set is very simple. A big contrast to the last thing I saw uh, by her, which was Rosmer's Holm, which was a very detailed set. Uh, here you've got a pretty bare stage, bare walls, um, quite hospital like, quite clinical, which very much reflects. Uh, the character uh, of the Doctor, uh, who's played by Juliet Stevenson. She prides herself, really, on being rational and uh, doing what's medically right. On this occasion, she's treating a uh, young woman, 14-year-old, who's attempted uh, uh, and botched an abortion uh, and has contracted sepsis. She's going to die. Uh, the doctor wants her to die peacefully, but a priest arrives, determined to give her the last rites because he's saying she's a Catholic. She's um, no evidence that uh, this girl's a Catholic, and in any case, wants her to die peacefully. From then on, um, we see this incident uh, exploited uh, by various people, by people within the hospital who want to reduce the power of uh, Juliet Stevenson's character. Also, it gets out to the general public and there are people out there who also uh, want to uh, use this incident to make their own points, um, even though they may have nothing to do uh, with what's happened. So, for example, there may be someone, there is someone who's um, anti-abortion. Now, the doctor hasn't carried out an abortion, but nevertheless, she gets to become quite prominent in her attack. A petition starts and is signed by tens of thousands of people who really have no idea about what happened. Um, some people are thinking that the doctor killed the girl, and so on. So the play's a lot about this doctor trying to maintain her rational position um, while being attacked by irrational people, and people again using it for their own ends noticing that she's Jewish um, and that um, even though she says, well, yes, my parents are Jewish, but I, I don't subscribe to the Jewish faith. And um, so there are, uh, for example, Catholics who think that maybe there's some prejudice involved here, either because she's Jewish or because she's an atheist. And one of the clever things that Robert Icke has done is to use gender and uh, colour-blind casting, so that you see uh, the doctor's behaviour towards someone as rational. But you don't realise that someone you thought was white is actually black, or someone you thought was uh, a woman is a man, and so on. And that exposes the prejudice of other people who interpret that behaviour as being in some way racially uh, prejudiced or whatever. And while she tries to keep herself above this, she is drawn into defending herself 
uh, bit by bit, and in defending herself reveals a certain irrationality of her own. And also, interestingly, because language is used, she's very precise about her language. Um, for example, takes someone to task over the word literally, which, uh, as we know, is widely used these days to mean the exact opposite. But then she finds herself, the, only, uh, the language she has used is, language is flexible and fluid, not fixed. And she admits herself that medicine uh, isn't fixed and that you're only doing your best in the moment with the knowledge that you have. And ultimately there are questions about whether she did act entirely rationally and in the best interest of the patient. But nevertheless the key thrust of this complex nuanced play is that the rational can very easily lose out to the irrational. The doctor's loosely based on um, Arthur Schnitzler's Professor Bernhard, a play uh, from the beginning of the 20th century, because the themes seem very modern, a lot to do, for example, with the way in which minority uh, opinions uh, and, and uh, extreme opinions can uh, gain traction and wider exposure thanks to the internet and mass media and so on. But the same sort of points were being made back then uh, about uh, the way in which extremists can use uh, irrationality and prejudice and uh, uh, the mob uh, to get what they want. Having said that, part of the problem for me was what, while the arguments were interesting and certainly kept me involved for uh, the evening. All the other characters, apart from the Doctor, are very much ciphers, uh, just really there to uh, make a point, rather than developed as proper characters. And I found that meant that the whole play seemed somewhat contrived. And, uh, and in fact, I was really not convinced that this kind of incident would lead to, to uh, those kind of outcomes, uh, which are actually quite disastrous uh, for the Doctor. One part which is given quite a bit of uh, meat is a uh, young friend who stays with the Doctor. And she's played by Rhea Zemitrovitz and, and she gives an excellent performance as this uh, fragile girl uh, who ends up inadvertently in the middle uh, of this scandal. A five-star performance from Juliet Stevenson. She starts very much sure of herself and in charge and you gradually see that chipped away and she alters and she gradually becomes more and more vulnerable uh, and uh, that's really quite something to behold. Uh, I would say that this is um, not perhaps the climactic end to Robert Icke's uh, period as an associate director at the Almeida, that he continues to be a director of real talent. And I give The Doctor three stars. I hope you've enjoyed watching this review of The Doctor at the Almeida. Uh, you can read uh, what I have to say about it on my website, oneminutetheatrereviews.co.uk. And if you like these reviews, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, One Minute Theatre Reviews.